Okay, hold on. What was that? Here. What is that? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. It's Sonic's hidden spin move. As you know, Sonic is known for spinning in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. A lot. Throughout every Smash game that he's been in, that's kind of what he's been known for. Luckily, he's been spinning a lot less, he used to spin a lot more in the older games. But pushing that aside, in Smash Ultimate there is a spin move that isn't written down anywhere or is mentioned in the game, as far as I know. Alright, you ready? Here's the move. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, that is Vertical Spin Jump. Or VSJ for short. But wait, it gets better. Come take a look at this. That's Instant Spin Dash Jump, ISDJ for short. So yeah, that's cool and all, but how do you do it? For both techniques, they're both used by the same input, Side B and then Attack. It can also be done with Down B, but I personally use the Side B variant of it. But although you can space out the inputs for VSJ, ISDJ is not the same. As soon as I hit Side B here, I have to press the Attack button immediately after. In comparison to VSJ, you actually carry a bit of your momentum with Instant Spin Dash Jump. Oh, and although you saw, it does have a hitbox. There are actual practical uses for ISDJ and VSJ. You can use it for movement to bait out your opponents, and you can use it to hit opponents through platforms. The hitbox for the move is actually pretty decent, and the same can be said for its Spin Charge counterpart. Which also means that this is possible. There's an even more detailed VSJ and ISDJ video made by my buddy Laika, which I will link in the description. But that's all I have to say for this video, let me know what Sonic Smash technique you want me to cover next, and with that, I'll see you guys in another video.